there's a clock running inside your body? Yes, biological clocks are fundamental to the functioning of life and to the organization and coordination of behavior. Simple behavioral functions such as timing active and inactive periods during the day-night cycle to maximize productivity and minimize risk rely on internal clock functions. These internal clocks are groupings of interacting molecules in cells throughout the body. A master clock in the brain coordinates with all the body clocks. Well, here's our next segment with Dr. Jaykanth, Do Hear It Out, which is all about biological clocks. We all know that each day has 24 hours and your body cycle keeps changing every hour according to the light and light changes. What modern science calls this as circadian rhythm. What is circadian rhythm? It's your body's own internal clock. There is a master clock in your body and there is also internal clocks. The master clock is controlled by the hypothalamus. When light enters your eyes, that's where the hypothalamus gets the input. And this input is completely essential for the entire rhythm that happens in our body. And when this rhythm does not happen properly, there are disorders. Let's look at some small, simple examples. When we travel to a distant country like US or UK, we say that we get jet lagged, we feel tired, we feel lazy, we feel sleepy. Why? Because of the circadian rhythm going out of toss or when our internal clock is not synchronized. So it is very important to follow the cycle in our body and to be mindful of the cycle. Let's say for example, in the morning when we get up, an important hormone called serotonin helps in wakefulness and in the night when we sleep, there is a hormone called melatonin. And this melatonin is a very important hormone. That's why they say when you try to sleep in the night, let your room be dark, let there be dim light, switch off your mobile phones, switch off your laptops and let there not be any digital screens that emit blue light because again your hormone production will get disturbed and your sleep cycle will get disturbed. And that is why when you don't have a proper sleep in the next day, you get up with tired eyes or burning eyes. You feel tired and you feel anxious the entire day. This restlessness is because your rhythm in your body gets disturbed. And in acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine, we call this as organ clock theory. To keep it in very simple terms, organ clock is when every organ functions at its best time. We divide it into two hour interval. Example, in the morning, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., your large intestine works. And this is the time you have to do your bubble movement and to elimination of waste from your body. And 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. is the time when your stomach channel works. And that's why we say that 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. is the best time to have a very good breakfast, to have a nutritious breakfast. So you're energized the entire day. When you skip your breakfast, and nowadays we see in the modern world, people try to skip breakfast in the name of dieting, which is very wrong. Because if you're skipping your breakfast in the morning, there is a major problem. There is a nutritional deficiency and your energy levels are very low. So 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. is the best time to have your breakfast. And I would advise you to take a highly nutritional uh, diet in the morning. And similarly, in the night time is the time when your liver channel works, especially the timing starting from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. is the time you should have a restful sleep. That is when your gallbladder channel and your liver channel works and your liver works over time taking out the toxins and also to make more blood. So it is very important that you are like a wood sleeping. And if you don't have a proper sleep at night, that's when you get up in the morning next day, very tired and with all the restlessness that you have. So it is very important to follow this timing on a regular basis. Nowadays, we see youngsters not having a proper sleep and not having proper breakfast. Because of this, there are a lot of problems and a lot of disorders in life. It is very essential that you follow this and have a good sleep at night without your mobile screens, without your laptop screens for your health and for your well-being. Thank you. We are looking at great beneficial notes for our daily living. We have our last segment coming up. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We will be back after a short break.